This is the 2015 Toyota Land Cruiser, one of the most popular commercial four-wheel drives on the market. It can often be seen towing a horse box or dragging a trailer or peeling out of a construction site. And it's also crucially important to the Toyota Motor Corporation. For instance, did you know the Land Cruiser was the first solely Japanese-built vehicle? Yep, yeah, it's true. Its roots date all the way back to 1955, when the Land Cruiser was built to compete with the Jeep Willys, no sniggering, and Land Rovers of that era. But it did more than that. It opened the door to the global automotive world for Toyota, and the Japanese brand drove straight through them. When you first jump into the Land Cruiser, especially if you're coming from a car, you will be forgiven for thinking that it's ever so slightly bland in here, but there's everything that you would expect in a vehicle in 2015. So I have a push button engine start, that's a nice feature. I also have a gear shift indicator and I have cruise control, a multifunction steering wheel with Bluetooth capability to talk on my phone and listen to music. And then also I have a color touchscreen display over here so I can scroll through my media functions and my radio functions as well. And then I have dual zone climate control. And then from a mechanical perspective, well, I have a low ratio gearbox and I also have my locking diff as well. So there's plenty in here to keep you occupied. Much of the reason for the Land Cruiser's success has been down to its unshakable reliability. Commercial vehicles, by their very nature, are revenue generators, and so the Land Cruiser has become the vehicle of choice for those who can't afford to be off the road with hefty bills. Whether that's a farm in Mullingar or a national reserve in Africa, the Land Cruiser has proven to be able to get stuck in and take whatever you can throw at it. I'm driving the commercial short wheel base version which has a list price of just under 40,000 euros. For that price, you'll get a 3 litre diesel engine with 190 brake horsepower, 420 newton metres of torque and a brake towing capacity of 3 tonnes. It has traditionally been the favoured vehicle by farmers in Ireland because you can attach a trailer to the back and tow it easily in and out of fields. Not so easy to do that with the long wheel base version which costs an additional 2,000 euros. However, if you want to get a vehicle with all of the work ethic of a regular commercial Land Cruiser, but you want to have people in the back, well, now you can. There's a business edition, which gives you five seats, but crucially, you can tax it as a commercial vehicle. Its price, well, 53,995. Might sound like an awful lot of money, but when you consider it can do everything that a commercial vehicle can do, along with being a second family car, the price doesn't sound so bad. So with a powerful and reliable engine, a modern but hard wearing interior, a go anywhere, do anything kind of capability and excellent resale values, the future of the Land Cruiser looks to be as bright as its past.